Hi, and welcome to my tutorials on Euclid's Elements, Book 5. This video presentation is going to be on Proposition 14 of Book 5. Now in this proposition, we start with two ratios, A to B and C to D, and they are equal. And this proposition states that if A is larger than C, then B is also larger than D. Or, if A is equal to C, B is equal to D. And finally, if A is less than C, B would also be less than D. So here it is, written out mathematically, this is what this proposition is about. So for this proof, we're going to start with A greater than C. Now if A is greater than C, a to B is greater than C to B, where B is our common magnitude, A is greater than C. We know this from proposition 8. So A is greater than C, that means that A to B is greater than C to B. But A to B is equal to C to D. So we take A to B and we replace it with C to D. So C to D is greater than C to B. And we know that we can do this by Proposition 13. Now, if C to D is greater than C to B, and we have two common magnitudes, C, if this relationship between these two ratios hold, according to Proposition 10, D would be less than B. Or inversely, B would be greater than D. So what we have, if we start with our two ratios, A to B is equal to C to D, and A is greater than C, we have just shown that B must also be greater than D. So that is the first part of this proposition. Now Euclid leaves it to the reader to follow the same steps here to show that if A is equal to C, then B is equal to D. If A is less than C, B is less than D. So again, Euclid left this up to the reader to work this out for themselves, but essentially all you have to do is follow the same steps here. And there we have shown this proposition, A to B is equal to C to D, gives you if A is greater than C, B is greater than D. A is equal to C, B is equal to D. And finally, if A is less than C, B is less than D. And that concludes this video presentation. To see the next presentation, just click the next button.